First tonight, it's a topic that has many of you asking why. People online are weighing in on the district attorney's decision to drop the corruption charges against state representative Donna Dukes if she resigns. In January, Dukes was indicted on 13 counts of tampering with a governmental record, accused of filling out fake travel vouchers to obtain money for expenses she was not entitled to. She also faces two other indictments for using public and campaign funds for her personal gain. The Night Beats' Michael Perchick caught up with District Attorney Margaret Moore tonight. Michael, she addressed that offer with you. Mike and Quida, in a lengthy Facebook post, Duke's playing both sides tonight. On one hand, she called the allegations impertinent and the coverage of it a media storm. But on the other, she said she would not respond to the allegations through the press. As you mentioned, that offer getting a lot of attention today, but just how common is it? It's a saga that's outlasted an election, a legislative session, and now is a Tuesday deadline that may or may not put an end to it all. The offer is that we would defer prosecution which means she would not have to enter a plea. And for that, she would have to resign immediately. Travis County District Attorney Margaret Moore discussed the offer to District 46 State Representative Donna Dukes, who faces the prospect of corruption charges if she does not accept the offer. On top of a forced resignation, Moore said Dukes would have to repay state funds the DA's office alleges she fraudulently misused, pay a fine to the Ethics Commission, and undergo a drug and alcohol assessment. But how common is such an offer? This does happen in these kinds of cases. The most famous case probably was in the early 1990s when Speaker Gibb Lewis was indicted for taking trips from a law firm that had an interest in legislation. UT law professor Hugh Brady explained in that case, Speaker Lewis agreed to not seek re-election as part of his deal. But is it a case of a politician receiving special treatment? I think that it's the district attorney trying to use public resources efficiently. Anytime you prosecute a public official, it takes a lot of resources, especially if the public official is not willing to resign. However, one point did stick out to Brady. The latest proposal is similar to a deal the DA offered last September, when Dukes publicly vowed to resign if she won re-election in November. But Dukes reneged on her offer. District 46, Donna Dukes. Delaying the legal case against her. In a sit-down interview with KVU in January of this year, Dukes defended her decision. One would be naive to believe that Donna Dukes is the only member up here who experienced that at this time or any time in the past. That's all a distraction that people want to bring up. That has nothing to do with what happens on the floor of the House of Representatives. While Dukes has not made it clear if she will accept the DA's offer at this time, Moore said they're ready to move forward if she doesn't. We intend to prepare this case and try it. D.A. Moore pointed to the nature of the crime as well as Duke's clean criminal history as factors behind the offer. Representative Dukes has until 5 o'clock tomorrow to accept that offer for Duke's full post. Log on to KVU.com. I'm Michael Perchik, KVU News, Nightbeat.